They did their jobs with courage, grace, tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. Look, let's be honest. We were all John Stewart. He was all of what we are in that moment. That was the truth. It's not about right or left. That was his dramatic plea to lawmakers last week, fighting to get the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund reauthorized. Like, that's controversial? If there were any question whether his scalding call for urgency and respect were warranted, the Senate Majority Leader answered it with this. Well, many things that Congress have at the last minute. We've never failed to, to address this issue, and we will address it again. I don't know why he's all been out of shape, but we, we will take care of the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. Bent out of shape seems like a better description of the senator's priorities. Stewart and others call out McConnell with cause. Nearly nine years ago, Senate Republicans initially blocked the Zadroga Act, that's what created the first of more than $7 billion in funding for these people. The same funding that's now running out. The Republicans wanted a scaled-down version. They got it. McConnell went on the floor to defend the scaled-down commitment. Some have tried to portray this debate as a debate between those who support 9-11 workers and those who don't. This is a gross distortion of the facts. There was never any doubt about supporting the first responders. It was about doing it right. And by doing it right, he meant doing it with less money, which meant less help for the first responders, whom we all promised to never forget. Back then, as now, they needed to be shamed into doing the right thing. Look at this. Senate Republicans budged following a barrage of criticism over the last few days, not just from Democrats, but also from allies, including former Mayor Rudy Giuliani of New York and conservative news outlets like Fox News. That was in 2010. So now, jump to 2015. Some of those heroes felt that they had to camp outside McConnell's office to get the Zadroga Act renewed. Why, if he was so accommodative, if he was on the same page with them? Democrats back then, and even some Republicans, said McConnell was holding up the money until they agreed to lift a ban on exporting U.S. oil. McConnell was acting like these were kids seeking asylum on the border. You know, people he thinks deserve indifference, deserve not to get what they need, not people who sacrificed as Americans so much on 9-11. Now, I'm being sardonic here and with reason, right? You should help people who need it, no matter where they are and when, and get the politics out of it. You spend tons of money on things that make no sense. This makes all the sense in the world. And look at the reporting from back then. Even Republicans directly involved in the negotiations privately say they had a deal all set using money in a highway bill until McConnell objected at the last minute, mixing this budget priority with these men and women and their health. Now, look. I don't cover this as a spitting match between two well-known names. It's not even about right and left. If taking care of first responders isn't a unanimous concern, I don't know what is. And the truth is Congress has not done them right, period. And McConnell's, we'll get to it when we get to it, you know, must be unacceptable to all of us. He and other lawmakers that have not cared for our fallen and ailing first responders can say they will never forget. And they can say that they care about these heroes. But we only know what they show. This argument is as simple as replaying Mr. McConnell's own words. A lot of things happened last minute. I don't know why he's so bent out of shape. Is that how you talk about a group of people that you know are desperate for this? Do you really just casually push aside the concerns of someone like Jon Stewart? He's an echo. He's not unique. Hey, kudos to Stewart. He's been there from the beginning for these men and women. He's been there from the beginning, okay? But this isn't about him, and he knows it. He's the first one to say that. Where is the commitment to them? Don't mix their priority with your priorities. Don't mix their money with money that you want for things. Don't play politics with the people you said you would treat as heroes. 
Otherwise, what do you value? What are you about if you can't take care of the people we promised to never forget?